All right, so we're looking at uh, a couple of different things. This is a very blown EV12 out of a QRX, I believe it's the 212, QRX 212 cabinet. Um, this guy is obviously damn near caught on fire. Um, and the reason that it damn near caught on fire is the amplifier that was playing it also damn near caught on fire. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, so you can see right there. It's all black and there's a little black in there as well. Yeah. So this guy uh, was let's see. Well, I was playing the subs. Interesting. Uh, which we also have a blown woofer from. And this amp is playing the tops, which is doing the same thing, but there's no obvious signs of burning the way there was on that other one, so... But... I mean, nothing showing badness. Yeah. Doing the same thing, though. They're both yeah. going through power cycle, yeah, going to protect. Gonna, this one's actually going... Dun, 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 dun. Um, no yeah. swollen capacitors, which is fortunate, or sweating, or... Yeah. Or, um... Um... Discharging of uh, liquid from the actual capacitor, so that's a good sign, so... Hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> not too bad, but unfortunately, module amplifier has to be pulled out every screw, every end, just yeah. to get at the circuit board. Yeah, it's good for a three, yeah. at least three hours and a four hours worth of work before you even get to fixing the problem. Yeah, yeah. The, the majority of the job is yeah. getting to the job. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that's where things are at. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if we can get it sent out to Crown. Hopefully in the next couple of days. Uh, I gotta get an RA number from the guys at Crown, and then uh, we'll go from there.